Hello everyone and welcome back to Recreating Hypixel. It has been four months. I seriously apologize for this. I was never planning to take this much of a break from this series, but unfortunately this video series takes so much work to do behind the scenes to actually get each episode made um, that I haven't had time. I've been super busy with school. I've been doing finals this week. I finally have a fraction of a moment to get a small video done for it. I promise during summer there is more coming, um, but let's get into this. I want to talk about a couple things um, that we're going to change up, a couple things that I'm doing in a current private build um, that I was testing out earlier that I may bring over to this, but I'm not sure yet. And then we're going to do what we're actually going to do in this video and look at the chat events um, and add ranks in chat. So first, I want to take a look at a core that I made for fun um, a couple months ago, and that is my 2023 core. And this system uses something that I want to bring over to this series, but the reason I'm probably not is because of what we've done so far. This system changes how that works. Um, but what this does is it uses a system called mini plugins, which is pretty much a plugin per system you have in the plugin. Uh, Kind of saying plugin a lot but that's kind of how this works um so the mini plugin itself loads an on enable and on disable for every single one that it gets called from um so for example our chat mini plugin that i made here it will extend mini plugin so on enable it registers its own events on disable it can register its own events etc um so you technically can unload and load they're like modules that you can unload and load um in the middle of stuff uh, which is pretty cool. And then there's the plugin manager that unloads and loads them and can also reload them. Uh, so if you ever want to reload a plugin and stuff, you can do that here. And it works out well because the command system fits right into it. Um, your loading system fits right into it. So like our my rank mini plugin here will import MySQL, the profile manager, and the Redis manager. And what I did with this is I kind of followed what we did in the high pixel core with our profile and our ranks and stuff. You can see kind of the same setup is higher or equals to. I just made it a little bit uh, shorter, a little bit easier to um, do things and add priorities and stuff. Um, and then what I did with that is in like player join, I um, handle data through like um, Redis. So it will load stuff in Redis, preload stuff in Redis, update that info in Redis before it even saves to MySQL. So this may be something that I will drag over to our core system in the future. I don't know if this is something you all would be interested in learning about. It's not really, um, we don't exactly know how Hypixel does it. They probably do something very similar. Um, but if you're interested in learning how this works, uh, let me know down in the comments and maybe I can drag that over for a future video uh, when we work on it uh, in coming weeks. Um, so. Anyway, now that we have gotten through my little spiel of showing off some of the cool stuff that's possible, let's go ahead and work on creating our ability to have these ranks that we set up in our last video in our chat. Um, so obviously, we don't have any chat listeners from what I remember. We'll go ahead and search a sync player chat event. You can see we don't actually have that. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new manager and this new manager is going to be very easy. It's going to be called chat manager and we're going to extend manager for this because obviously this is a manager class and we can go ahead and import the default manager class there. And if you don't remember manager, all it does is grab the core um, and let you load it from your main one. So load managers, we can go ahead and add chat manager to this. Um, that way we can call this from our main class so chat manager. And then we'll go ahead and load our chat manager down here and load it chat manager. There we go. So now we're loading our chat manager. So anything we do in that class is going to be loaded when we start up the server. And then remember also in here, we can, um, any of these can be used for like saving data or grabbing stuff from the startup. Um, so what we're going to do for this is inside of our uh, original management class here, we're going to create a couple events, but first we're going to register those events. So just like any other plugin, we're going to go ahead and do implements listener to go ahead and grab those events. And then inside of our startup method here, we're going to do plugin dot get server dot get plugin manager dot register events, this plugin, just like that. And you can see we are going ahead and importing 
the plugin from our core. So it's going to register all of those events. Um, I don't remember if we are logging um, how we enable stuff here. It's been a little while. Uh, we are logging it. So what I'm going to do, just keep things easy to make sure it's all good. I'm going to color log uh, chat manager has been loaded. Um, and this autofill system that I'm using um, that pops up here is GitHub Copilot, I think they call it. It's like an AI generated thing. Uh, I have found it very useful for uh, creating logs uh, because it can kind of just estimate what you're going to do. So for example, if I do color.log, um, chat manager has been loaded, but if I move it above here and do color.log, it should fill in like loading chat manager and you just press tab. So if you're interested in doing that, it's GitHub Copilot. You can get it on their website. It works with um, all IDEs, I think. Um, so it's just an interesting thing that I found very useful for just simple tasks. I haven't actually had it work with any large um, plugins, like actually coding, but I've had it work terrifically for logging and creating messages that I could care less about adding if it was just myself. So anyway, now that we've gotten through that, there's a couple things we're going to do here. We're going to add a blocked command. So we're going to go ahead and paste this in. This is going to be any commands that we are not going to want um, the player to run. So this is like plugins, plugins version, I can't have bucket, op, about, etc. And the reason we're blocking these is because obviously you don't want the player to be actually using these on um, your server. You want to hide your plugins if you want to. You could just get rid of that if you don't, and etc, etc. Um, so now the way we can uh, go ahead and enforce this is we're going to make an event handler. And this is actually going to be a priority of highest. The reason for this is because you don't want it um, to cut out any of your stuff so event priority highest like here and then we're going to go ahead and do public void on player command or whatever you want to do and it's going to be a player command pre-process event and that's going to go down here you can get rid of this like bracket you don't need that i don't know why they're putting that there and you don't need that either so it's just priority equals event highest and then you can say on player command. And then in here, what you're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and grab all of this data. I'm just going to paste this in. Um, it's going to grab the command name, the string, the arguments, the profile of the player running the command, and the lowercase aspect of that command. The reason I'm throwing all this in here is just to keep it very easy on what we're going to do. Um, so then we're going to go ahead and check if the lowercase dot starts with slash and then we're going to do slash me or we're going to add more lower case dot starts with and then we'll do slash bucket and then we'll do if dot uh, lower case starts with and then we'll do slash minecraft We'll go ahead and return event set cancel. If this will let me, there we go. Event set cancel true. And then we're going to also send a player a message. So event dot get player dot send message. And then we're going to get color dot main because remember this is how we grab our uh, thing chat. And then I'll just let that fill that in. You cannot use this message. So all that autofill you're seeing is um the what's it called the um github copilot so you can see here uh it's doing this for us as well um so wow this is exactly what we want uh i will go ahead and fill this in so it's block command contained command name to lowercase event to cancel we are also going to add a check for the player's rank so i'll go ahead and add that in here and so if the uh rank is going to be whatever our lowest rank is so mod um, so now it's block commands if it contains this but your profile is not higher than mod it will block otherwise you can still see those commands um so you know that's how that works um so there's that very easy to do very easy to have here those are our block commands now it's actually time to set the player's messages when you are chatting in game um so once again we're gonna go i'm gonna grab this up here because we're just gonna do event priority highest um, but we're also going to ignore canceled true and the reason we're going to ignore canceled true is because you want to make sure that your player 
doesn't have the event canceled by another plugin. So to keep things easy, we're going to ignore the cancel true there. Um, so you can see we have a handle chat method here. And inside of here, you're going to do the same thing we did previously. We're going to grab the player's profile. You're going to grab the player's sender and you're going to grab the message. Um, in the future, we are going to add punishments to this. We're going to add mute messages to this, etc. For now, we are not going to do that, but we are going to go ahead and grab if the event is canceled or if the message is empty, we're going to also cancel the event here. Um, that way, if you try to send a empty message, it's not going to work. It's going to go ahead and cancel those messages. Um, we are also going to translate the message. So if you send your message, we're going to grab that message and we're going to translate it. The reason we're going to do this is because you want to make sure all of your messages are sent with your color codes. And you're also going to cancel the event completely. You're going to disable Spigot's default chat event. We're just going to translate the event through the messages itself. Um, we can then, if you want, check um, your formatting, whatever else you want to uh, have here. But in our case, we're going to go ahead and create a formatted text component, which we're actually going to send the message from. Um, so when we do a formatted message component, uh, you're going to go ahead and grab your rank prefix. So for this, we can go ahead and do uh, string rank, uh, and then that can go into profile dot get data dot get rank dot get prefix. So you can just grab your prefix. If you have network levels or anything like that, you can add that as well. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to grab a text component and you're going to change it to uh, rank component. And then so you're going to do text component rank component equals new text component and then rank plus uh, blank uh, so what that will do is it will put your rank plus whatever else it has very there and then you're going to get the player's name so to get the player's name what you're going to do is you're going to just grab the player's profile data you're going to get their rank you're going to get their color and then you're going to set their display name to whatever their color of their name is so that way you have the player name as the same color as that um and then what you're going to do is you're going to set the message content. So to grab the message content, you're just going to add a space and add the message. So you have the player name, the rank component and the message context. Very easy indeed. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to check um, and add the rank component. You are going to add the player name text, and this is going to be in the order that you're going to be going and you're going to add the message content. So if you misplace this, if you add the player name first, the player name is going to be before the rank. If you add the rank first, the rank will be before the player name. And if you add the message here, it will be after the player name. Um, so there you go. That's all you had to do. That's all we had to do. Um, and well, actually, <laughs> we're getting, we haven't actually sent the message. So in order to do that, you do event get recipients for each player, target spigots player, send message of the formatted event. So to recap what we did, is we are grabbing the profile of the player, we're grabbing the sender, we are grabbing the message. We're checking if the message is empty and we're not gonna send it otherwise. Otherwise than that, we're gonna cancel the event, we're gonna make a message, we're gonna create a formatted message, grab the rank, grab the rank component, grab the player name text, grab the message content, add all those together and send that formatted messages to the player. Um, so I don't have my test server set up um, at the moment and I do have to go jump on a bus. So I'm not gonna be able to showcase this in game this time but I will do it in our next video. I am bringing my main computer home for summer this year, so I should be able to do lots more of these videos as time permits throughout the next couple months. Um, but there we go. We have set up our chat manager. We are canceling on player commands. And just to keep things easy, we can add ignore cancel true to this one up here as well. Um, and then we set up our sending messages in chat down here. So hopefully this did um, get you back into the feeling of this series. And I do apologize for the delay, but we will have more videos on this very soon. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. No I'll see you next time. Really have a great no day. More, no. Just want to make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water. Or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it's a